objective number three. Hey, oh, good morning. Sorry, I'm mumbling under my breath. <laughs> kind of forgot I'd even turn the camera. <clears throat> Lethargic day. Off to a slow, slow start. But yesterday was a marathon day. Three meetings in three cities on the bike in a, in a super rainstorm at the end. So cold, I, wasn't, I really wasn't prepared. It really took it out of me. So um, today's a pretty busy day too. And I'm feeling my age, you know, I'm a senior citizen now. Just, just thinking about how uh, the, this, the curtain, <laughs> curtain really does go down after a certain age. Whether you like it or not, the hook comes out and grabs you. Curtain on whatever stage that is. You know, it could be a stage where you want the accolades of an audience, or it could be simply the stage of of uh, performing for the sake of performing, or it could be no performance at all, but the uh, interactions with our loved ones, our community, whatever it is that that curtain drops comes to an end. More on that in just a moment. Maybe, maybe, or maybe I've said enough. Let me do the good life. The, and I kind of started out, like I said, I, I kind of forgot I had turned the camera on. Well, I always have the camera on when I'm riding, on my commute especially, to, uh, I, I have the camera on in order to record events should, you know, something befall me. Should I have an accident, I'll have, I'll have the event on video. Hi, hi Birdie. And I'll have it on the front and rear camera. Let's see. So I started, I kind of forgot that I had the camera going. I just gassed up. That's kind of what cost me. I had to gas up twice. Usually I have to gas up every other day. About every 220 miles or so, I have to gas up. I could probably get 250 out of the bike if I push it. The old bike, I could get almost 300. I think it's because it had twin spark plugs on another cylinder. This is a one year older bike, single single spark plug on the side. But anyway, that, that kind of got me and um, just, just, just getting old. I haven't, I haven't worked out in a week. That's the longest I haven't worked out in um, maybe three years. I'm on a streak right now. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll mention that at the end. But let's do the good life, which I, like I said, I forgot the camera wasn't on and I started mumbling under my breath right there. Caught myself remembering, oh yeah, <laughs> let's do this out loud. The... As I said, the uh, be always ready to die. Make today a good day to go, if uh, if I have to go. Two, uh, good and effective use of time. Don't waste my moments. Three, the development and maintenance of good and sound, good and sound. You gotta get the speaking just right. Not good and sound, but good and sound life principles. That's the 7 and 21. Next is the... I'm going to get over in the slow lane. There's no, no reason for me to go fast. I'm, I'm about 4 minutes ahead of schedule. I'll be, I'll be arriving in time and I'm working plenty of time. I can drop down to 60, even 55 if I want to. Number 4 is the cultivation of good emotional reactions. Not flying off the handle, but reacting well throughout the day. Number five, the performance of good actions, just doing good things throughout the day. I had something I wanted to do that would have been a good action. I haven't done it. I'm feeling bad about it. There's somebody, I live on uh, one of the upper floors at the apartment complex and down the stair. Well, I'll talk about that too later. Number five, Five, number six is the uh, recognition of true limits and true opportunity. And number seven is to do one thing slowly, which I'm endeavoring to do right now. 20 principles, 21 that is. Principle of war, to war upon everything that I hold true. Two, the principle of reason, the sub principles of honesty and objectivity, the way I want to go through life looking at things in an objective manner and honestly asking myself if they are true. Being honest with myself about the facts. 
whether they uh, whether I like them or not, and using reason as the arbiter of truth, the final arbiter of truth. Number four, number three. Oh, there goes that cob. Every day we pass each other. Number three, actually, is the homunculus, the little mortal who lives inside my head. Who uh, runs the show and who will die with me when I die. It's my consciousness. That's all. Number four is the home of good and evil. Good and night, evil reside with the homunculus there up in the head. And he keeps a uh, catalog of right and wrong, good and evil. It's a moral catalog. Yeah, it's, it's of my own making. Fancy that. And through the influence of society. Oh, blasphemy. Number fi five is the uh, principle of purpose. Having some reason to be. And I believe there's one mandate from life, and that is to stay alive as long as you can. And to get our genes in the next generation. And outside of that, um, I decide my purpose is to be a, a good man. Whereas goodness is defined as the improvement of well-being. Whereas well-being is defined as basically making the world a happier place. Not at the expense of others. But generally increased well-being. Number... What's going on here? Some guy's changing the title. Number... Um, six. The atomic principle. Everything that's made of bits and pieces. Including you and me. Number seven. Principle of nature. Everything has some particular nature. And it's good to recognize what that nature is. And live in accordance with it. Next is principle of the social principle. <laughs> Funnily worded. The principle of the social principle. The social principle. We are social animals. We need one another. Next is the principle. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a chase scene. That guy's not slowing down. Oh boy, look at that. Wow. Wow, that's something you don't see every day. Huh. What's the going on with that? At least I guess he's that guy's gonna lose his license or something. Well he's leading him over here. Look at that. Wow, that's the going to be late to work. Wow. No, oh, where was I? Hmm. Huh, that's not doing one thing slowly. Okay, I got to recover my, like I said, I'm tired. I'm old. <laughs> I just, oh, it was the principle of uh, public speaking is next after the social principle. To live my life like um, like the people that are talking that I'm talking about are standing right there so I don't gossip number 11 now is the principle of, of the feast of awful the waste and byproduct of our undisciplined living spewed off when we get upset or when we let our our frustrations out at the expense of others, on to others, spewing it out among them. And they, the funny thing is, they consume it up. It makes them feel bitter inside, and then they give it out. Strange thing. I don't. I try not to engage in that. I try not to give it out myself, and not try to try not to consume it when others are spewing it out. Next is uh, that was the feast of Ophel. Oh yeah, temperance. And it's the principles of suffering, simplicity, and apathy. To control my consumption of all things. You coming over here? I saw your blinker on. Temperance.
Wow, man. Okay, hold on. My mind is kind of dwelling. Today's going to be an interesting day. My mind just isn't quite... That's what I kind of mean, you know? It's like the curtain drops, whether you want it or not. You know, the mind is kind of slipping. And I don't think that's the case permanently. I think I'm just having a, an off day because I'm exhausted. But anyway, back on track. That's temperance. Next is uh, agency and the great indifference. We're all agents. Great indifference is the background of the universe. Next is uh, best seat in the house. To not want to be anyone else, be anywhere else, or be doing anything else. But to be okay with where I am, who I am, and what I'm doing. Next is uh, after the best seat in the house. Path of wildness, which is a way to get unstuck in life, to move forward out of the rut that we're in. And now is a, the oh, what is it? The risk of avoiding risk, the deep level risk of life, and the surface level risk of life. I'm trying to tend to both. Next is. Complete oblivion. No, no, sin and damnation. There are five sins in my worldview. The same thing, basically. Not believe in things that are true. Or believe in things that aren't true. <laughs> Two halves of the same coin. Falsity, credulity, faith, superstition, and dogma. The consequence of indulging in these is potentially uh, being living a damned life, going through life thinking, believing things that may not be true. Or at least we have a good reason to think they're true can't stand on their own two feet without the benefit of, uh, of uh, ungracious, ingracious supports, unworthy supports, unworthy of the, uh, unworthy of the, of the great capacity we have to reason. Next is uh, complete, is that right? Hold on. Yes, complete oblivion. No final reunion, no final reconciliation, no final justice. When we die, we're dying. Dead, we're dead. Not gonna see anybody else anymore, I don't think. Not gonna have a chance to have any happy reunions and not gonna reconcile. So you better do it now. Try to pursue justice now, too. Next is, uh, that was, uh, no, yeah. Next is, it's a great life adventure. Do it while you can before the curtain drops in both body and mind are too frail and timid to to live the, live the dreams that we had of, of our youth or of our age. <laughs> Next is uh, the season of philosophy. When the words come, write them down or paint the picture or take the photo or do the dance or whatever the case may be. Whatever your art is, do it. That, that opportunity will pass. And then finally, arena and utility. Life is an arena for the development of our objectives and principles and the execution of these uh, throughout the course of our lives and execution and improvement of these so back to the things yeah so old i'm just tired just tired it's a day that i i could definitely use a day off you know i work two jobs so um and i work so i worked i haven't had a day off since uh well since late last week i did have friday off out in the desert not making excuses i'm just getting old and i'm tired that's okay. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to be tired from good, honest work, good, hard labor. I like my job. It's a really good job. I get to make the world a better place in a small way every day. So I'm glad. I'm glad I'm on my way to where I'm on my way towards. But I'm still tired. So the thing about the thing on the stairwell, there's somebody. Uh, you know, I go up and down the stairs. There's an elevator, but I prefer the stairs to get uh, take my dog for a walk. And yesterday, I noticed somebody's dog took took a watery dump on one of the steps to the to one side, to be fair, but still on one of the steps, which kind of was gross and it really smelled bad. I should have done something about it, but it was, like I said, I was tired yesterday. I came home. I was wet. I had a lot of things to do. I had to take my own dog out for a walk. So I passed by it another time, when I t- twice when I took the dog for a walk. And I didn't do anything about it. I kept thinking, oh, I should bring... But it was like really gross. I should go out and paper towels and clean it up. That would be, you know, 
in accordance with the principle of, uh, you know, the objective of uh, doing good deeds. It would be strictly anonymous, and that's fine. The other alternative I had was to go down to the leasing office and um, tell them about the mess. And that, by the way, that's the course I'm going to take. They're very good. They have we have a real, real good cleaning facilities, cleaning facility crew that will come take care of that. And it's in, I know which stairwell it's in. The number I can just tell them. But anyway, I let it go last night, and I saw it this morning sitting there. It's kind of dried up a little bit, but still. And I, my worry was that someone's going to come down, not mindful of their steps, sl step in it, and not just make their feet, their shoes a gross mess, but slip and tumble down the stairs and break in their neck. You know, any 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 bit of that is terrible, and I could I could help prevent that by cleaning it up myself. And again, I, I dismissed it, saying that I'm too busy. You know, I have to get to work. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm disappointed in myself. I wish I'd done something about that. So I'm, but I'm going to do something about it. When I get to work, as soon as the leasing office opens, I'll call them up and uh, tell them about the mess on the stairs. And they're very good about this. It's a very good place to live. Our, uh, our landlords are, are phenomenal. Our landlord is a company, and it's an Irvine company. They're phenomenal. Can't say I've lived in three of their properties. Can't, can't speak highly enough about them. Truly, a phenomenal experience. You'll have to pay an extra extra bit for that service it's like it's like going to a nice hotel I mean you're gonna get phenomenal service most likely but it's gonna come at a cost and it's been worth it for the last four years but we're about to move on so they'll, they'll do it so I'll do that and but I'm still I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't haha <laughs> no pun intended take that take that miss into my own hands is there anything else so I could have used just, just to harken back to the principles, I could have used the principle, I mean, the objective of making the world a better place. The objective of, of do just doing good things. That's what it is. Number five, fifth objective, to do good, do, do good, good things. <clears throat> and I could have used uh, temperance to withstand my disgust at the at the job. <clears throat> Apathy to recognize the fact that what the person did whoever left that there, that's completely outside of my control. There's no good reason for me to get upset about that. And of course, the Feast of Ophel, number 11, principle number 11, in, who, who, in which I can choose not to consume that other person's failure to do, to do what I would consider to be right, and instead let it slide and just clean up the mess and move on. See, I had all kinds of opportunity for virtue there. Boy, boy, I've never felt, I've never, Wording it in that way, I've never felt more like a stoic, you know, looking at that disgusting thing and going, oh my goodness, look at all these, all this opportunity I have to exercise my objectives and principles. I, I can be temperate, I can, I can withdraw, withstand the Feast of Oval, I can be apathetic to the, uh, to the, 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 the person uh, regard, regarding the, the irresponsibility of the person who let their dog do that and didn't clean it up. And I can, I can seek to make the world a better place, to do good things. Wow, seen in that light, changes things entirely, doesn't it? Well, with that, I think I'll, I'll close. I'm feeling better already. Ooh, nice motorhome. Feeling better already. I think I'm ready for the day. Today's an opportunity, too. Okay, take care, everybody. Have a great day. I'll get that second cup of coffee in me soon, and we'll be off. Bye-bye. Make it a good day, and just be safe, but not too safe.